Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel once again. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the PR knot. Okay, what we require for the PR knot? PR bobbin, pair of braid scissors, and I'm going to be using 50 pound J braid with Rhino braid 180 pounds. Okay, let's just grab it. Take our PR bobbin. We're then going to, I'm going to put my glasses on, take the 50 pound. Stick it down the nozzle. There we go. Now you'll see in your PR bobbins, <coughs> you've got two O-rings here, rubber O-rings on the side. We take our uh, tag end and we put it between the two O-rings and pull tight. It actually slides into it. Those O-rings are there to hold the braid in place. Okay. We just pull there we go until we get it to the right area you'll have a little bit of a tag end left over what we then do is we take our braid and we wrap it around ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay I went eleven times you then got a tensioner on the side which you can tighten or loosen depending on how tight you actually want your knot to be. I've just set my one to the tension that I find suits me the best, which is quite stiff. I then take my braid. The easiest way to do it <coughs> is to actually either wear a pair of gloves, because it does bite into your hands. But if you don't have gloves, Take about that much braid, tight around your hand twice, take your PR bobbin and tighten it until it actually gets to the top of your leader line. I then wrap around two or three times around my hand, again I'll just show you, once, twice, three times to create a lot of tension and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to swing the bobbin around and carry on going so there we go one two three there we go and you'll see how the bobbin is actually tying around the actual leader there so I just keep the tension and I just carry on going <coughs> depending on how big you actually want it to be is the length that you actually let it go to so if that's long enough we work our way back now so all I do is I take my thumb and I just start applying pressure to the bobbin with a little bit of tension like that you'll see that the bobbin will start working its way back here we go there we go so the bobbin starts working its way back okay and we just carry on going to the end there. Once you get to the end, pinch the bobbin. And you can see there's the PR part of it already done. It's nice, it's thick, it's hard. It's the way you want it to be. And just apply a bit of tension to the leader. So the easiest way for me to do is just wrap it around my foot here. Take that loose now what you're going to do is you're going to do a half hitch around the leader line as well as your braid okay so there we go we're going to do a half hitch and a half hitch is basically a granny knot so a half hitch around it like so and you pull it as tight as you can you then let go of your actual um, leader and tag end, wrap your, your line from your reel around your hand and 
pull it as tight as you can. What happens is you'll see it actually bites into the leader. And the way you can tell is the color normally changes in the actual um, leader over there where the braid is wrapped around the leader. You'll see it actually changes slightly in color. Undo the leader. Like so. Hold the two together again. The tag end part, you do another half fetch. So there we go, round and out. Okay, and lay it next to the first one. We just pull it until it gets tight. There we go. Pull tight. Then we reverse it. Now the way we do it is just grab it from underneath, grab it like so, and allow it to seat next to the last half inch that you did. Pull tight and pull away towards the leader. And again, do it opposite way. There we go. Pull tight. And again, go from underneath. pull tight and repeat it six times you can make it a lot longer than six I just find six is more than enough Once you've done your six half etches over there, we do what they call a risotto, but a reverse risotto. And how we go about doing that is you go over and pull your hand through. So that's your half etch. You then take that same tag end and go around both of them again, the tag end as well as the leader, and you do it again three times four times, five times, six times. On the sixth one, what you do is lay your tag end next to the leader and you just apply a slight amount of tension. So now you've got a loop with your tag end here. You just reverse it, so you, now you go, you undo it. One, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth one, you can see how it starts packing next to one another. Okay? So it starts packing next to one another. Now if I pull the tag end, what it does, as you can see there, it starts pulling that tag end underneath those six knots. What that does is actually those six knots there, or half hitches, actually lock this in place so it doesn't come undone. And that's very important. There we go, there we go, all the way down. There we go, you can see how it pulled tight there. And lock it by pulling as tight as you can on the tag end. Now what we do is you can either use a lighter if you want, you can put a drop of super glue there if you want, or you can just cut it off as close as can be. Take your leader, whether it be nylon or braid, doesn't make a difference. The principle is exactly the same. Cut off the, the tag end of your leader. So there we go guys, there's your PR knot complete. It's small, it'll go through your guides easily both ways, whether you do it this way, that uh, little arrowhead that uh, we've created there, 
will go through your guides and if you go that way obviously that will go through your guides so it's a very quick easy knot that you can tie and it is a hundred percent knot strength it's not actually a knot as you could see it's actually just braid wrapped around itself so it's actually just wrapping it's not cutting into itself and that's your PR knot very quick very easy guys